one gal show here, but I see that uh, Pastor Lee got said he's children at heart too. Right, wait a second. I would say all use under under 75 years of age. <laughs> <laughs> church, I met Brianna, and Brianna just uh, remind me of Jesus. When no one else is there, we can count on him. He's always there, and I love her so much. Look how she's the only one child here today, and I want to thank you, Brianna. We love you, and I wish God speedy blessings always to be upon you. Amen. We love you for always being here. Amen. Yeah, she's grown into a fine young woman. Isn't she? Anyway, so, pardon me. Yeah, we got another one coming up here. Yeah, she's always smiling too. It was so precious. We want to hear her story. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> In a far, far away land, there was this fella who was a farmer. And he had cattle and all kinds of different things there, and he needed some water. And he had a neighbor who was a bit of a stinker, but he had a well that was very close to his property. So he decided that he would talk to the neighbor, and he bought, he purchased this well for his cattle from the neighbor. Like I told you, this neighbor was a stinker. So the neighbor so told him, he says, well, you bought the well, but you don't get the water. So the farmer, he didn't know what to do. He was a little bit miffed by this whole situation. And he went and talked to the king. And the king said to have both men come before him. So both men came before him, and the king presided over him, and they both said their side of the story. And the king said, you need to get your water out of his well. <laughs> he, oh, he bought the well. It's your water. You think you've sold the water to somebody else? Well, you, you need to get the water out of the well right now, and if you don't do it immediately, the water becomes his. The story here is to tell you what. You can't be a shady character. You can't screw around because there's always going to be somebody a little bit smarter, a little bit brighter. And that's not the way anyway. It's not the truth and it's, the, it's not the life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And he doesn't deal in shadows. He deals in the light. He deals straightforward. If you're going to do work for Jesus Christ, he's going to pay you. All that you got coming to you. Believe me. Jesus is a wonderful, wonderful creator, friend, and savior. Yeah. He wants to be your Lord. But the only way that he can do that is if you let him come in. This Christmas season, that's the most greatest gift that you could give to God. Is yourself. Would you like to close us in prayer? Dear Jesus, thank you for the children's story today, and thank you that I got to listen to this, and thank you for the church family. Jesus.